When you pull up to that gas pump, it's not as simple as just buying the cheapest gasoline they have. There's a reason to buy better gas. We're going to talk about all this coming up. saying self what rate of gas should I buy for my car well let's talk about the four octane ratings that are common enough not so common you have your regular 87 octane you have your 89 octane you have your 91 octane and you have your 93 octane which is not widely available but I've had the opportunity to use it and in certain conditions it's worth spending the extra money to buy and we'll talk about that so you have your 87 octane flavor here, which has its place. If you're doing some light traffic or heavy traffic, just some commuting, you can get away with this all day long. If you're just in stop and start traffic, you can get away with that all day long. It will work fine for you. May not be as efficient. If this is the type of commuting you're doing, you may not get the added benefits of purchasing the higher end lines of gasoline but all of these gas all these grades of gas will work perfectly fine for your everyday commuting you can never go wrong with buying a better gasoline so if you're doing a lot of highway driving your 87 octane that will work but what happens is your load increases and when your load increases either two things happen because today's automotive vehicle is very smart uh, you have fuel trims you have timing advance and retard that happens at the blink of an eye. So, based on the calculations received from your O2 sensors, your engine will trim the fuel to the least amount of fuel to make that energy happen. Now, it's going to take a little bit more fuel to run an 80, 87 octane gas on the highway. That's the trade-off. As you go down your octane ratings, you will make a little bit more power with each one. So with increased power comes increased efficiency. So you will, you will use less gasoline because you can make more timing. Let's show you how spark and timing work. So when we're talking about how much work that octane will actually do, it's dependent on a couple of things. So the octane rating means how much advance your engine can put into the engine to make use of that power without overloading with fuel. An engine operating at peak efficiency with 91 octane gas, for example, should fire around 32 degrees advance um, after top dead center. The typical four stroke engine fires on a timing basis. Cars being as smart as they are today, they have oxygen sensors, so they will trim fuel, they will add fuel, they will advance timing, and they will retard timing based on the fuel that you have in your engine right at this exact moment. So it's important to know what work you're going to do with your engine before you put that fuel in. So an engine operating at peak efficiency will fire that engine typically around the 32 degree range, and actually we're talking about a naturally aspirated engine here, which gives you a bigger lever than say if you're running an 87 octane and you can only get 24 degrees of advance the engine's going to do this all by itself so and it's hardly noticeable at the foot so so at 24 degrees as opposed to 32 degrees you have a much bigger lever to do work with clear as mud so for highway driving all these will work this this 87 octane is just not going to be as efficient. Now, let's move up the ladder here to light towing. If you're doing light towing, I'm not saying that it won't do the job, but here's what will happen. The amount of fuel that you'll need to do the work will increase so much that it's worth your while to buy a better gasoline. So for this reason, I'm staying clear of 87 octane when doing light towing. And the same again with heavy towing. I would definitely stay away from the 87 octane. 
Again, not saying that it won't do the work. It will just require so much fuel. And now you're getting to the point where you're getting into pre-detonation, which can damage an engine. And this happens when your engine misfires before top dead center. So you have that piston coming up. You get pre-ignition where it fires, it rattles the engine, it can tear your engine apart. You probably won't see problems instantly, but you're definitely going to see problems down the road. You're going to wash out your cylinders. I'll let them burn fuel, goes down past your rings, cause a heap of problems. Buying a gasoline that doesn't that it doesn't meet the work that you're trying to do will cause long-term damage in your engine. For 89 octane and heavy tone, it will do the job, but I'm going to give it a do not apply. Because if you're spending the extra money, buy the 91 octane. Uh, in all honesty, I, I pass the mid-grade pump. It's, it's either supreme or regular f for my needs. 91 octane is a definite. It will do the work of heavy towing. 93, even better. It will do it will do more work. It will give you more power. It'll be more fuel efficient. It'll you'll have more power going up hills. It will just work better. So moving on to extreme towing. And when I talk about extreme towing, I'm talking about you're hauling your vehicles GVW and, and then some. You're hauling a trailer that's at least as heavy as what you're towing with, maybe even a little heavier. Or a large conventional gas RV, you know, you, the big 30-footers with the V10s and the big block Chevys. Stay away from the 87 octane just because it's cheap, because it'll cost you more in the long run. You will burn more fuel. Stay away from the 89. 91, 91 will give you your peak efficiency. It'll allow you to climb a hill better. And as always, 91 will give you your, your best return. So, so what I experienced with fuel for commuting and highway use is buying a better gas that would be a 5% return on highway and commuting. I've seen 10% better fuel economy with 91 octane, which means more efficiency. You're making more power. In 93 octane, I've seen 15% highway and in town use. So this is a good way to justify is if you're going 15% further on your fuel is it costing you 15% more to buy it. And that's a good way to justify whether you're going to pick that fuel or not for the lower ratings. But as far as getting into doing load or work, buying a better gas will serve you in the long run and in the short term. So hopefully this has been some short term pain for some long term gain. And if you, uh, Agree to disagree, put it in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about what your findings were on what grades of gasoline you bought and what you, what you found worked best for you. So thanks again, as always, for stopping by this guy's garage. You can hit that subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. And until the next time, folks, this guy out.